Yeah, the Shearwater uh, Hotel, it's a great facility for people who have accessibility issues. It's, it's quite extraordinary, I suppose, in this day and age that so many hotels have their showers and baths and, you know, they're not accessible. So, but I suppose in addition to the accessibility requirements for our group of people affected by Huntington's disease, it's really important to have a social space to be able to get together so people can get that peer support because Huntington's is a neurodegenerative condition um, but it's also hereditary so for somebody who has the disease there's a 50% chance of passing it on to each of their children so it is a very challenging disease and there's quite a huge psychological burden to it so people often feel very isolated um, they feel that nobody really understands the disease and that it's, it's very difficult to get the supports they need. So to be able to come to a place like this, a very nice facility where there's loads of space and people can get to know each other, that's particularly important. Well, actually, in the past, we used to use the Irish Wheelchair Association Respite Centre at Cushla in Roscommon. And we were very sad to see that close because it was really ideal for a group like ours. Um, and then um, this hotel, I think, is advertised on the IWA website. So. Um, I checked a lot of hotels out, but none of them have the accessibility rooms in, in combination with the space where you can have your own function. You know, other hotels perhaps have the rooms, but you have the function in the restaurant with everybody else. And a lot of people with Huntington's would have involuntary movements, they might have balance problems, and sometimes they might have speech impairment as well. So people don't want other people looking at them and feeling they're drunk or, or whatever. You know, it's, it's often kind of awkward for people, and so it's nice to have our own space and to be able to get together and, and meet people who understand what you're kind of going through. Sure, well, Huntington's disease is a neurodegenerative uh, neurological condition. Um, it, it is very challenging. It, symptoms can start between the ages of 35 and 50. So initially people might have problems with their movement, balance, speech, but also with thinking. There can be thinking changes and things you took for granted. You may not be able to um, do the same way you were, would before. Um, and for some people there's emotional changes as well. So depression can be a feature of Huntington's and People may lose their ability to have the same kind of patience and understanding they had before and, and that can cause a lot of friction in relationships. So it's, it's a really complex, challenging condition. And I suppose one of the worst things about it then is that it's hereditary. So it, for some families there may be more than one person. Some families might have two or three people with the condition at the same time. So carers are... Um, extremely overburdened in, in trying to look after their loved ones and then there is no specialist supports available here at the moment um, so that really adds to the burden and the challenge um, there is no specialist supports like there is in other countries where, where you know there's a specialist HD nurse somebody who really understands the condition can coordinate care for people can get people linked in at an early stage um, because of the impact on the family, it's often the case that people might be in denial and not want to seek help or engage with help because it's really difficult if you know already what's ahead of you because you've seen some other family member. Um, so that can be very difficult. So to have that kind of outreach support, that specialist support where people really understand the condition, that's